First of all, just to recognise that 15 years ago this September, we lost Bray firefighters Marco Jocknessy and Bray substation officer Brian Murray Sr. I did attend a vigil for them both at the time. Um, their lives were lost at a fire in the town and our thoughts are with their families and their friends and their colleagues. And I, like others, want to welcome all their colleagues into the Doyle here tonight. I went down and spent a few minutes with them earlier on and uh, want to indicate to them that, of course, we fully support this motion from Sinn Féin and commend Deputy Brady for the work that he has done on it and the work he's done over the years. But it is striking that 15 years on from such a tragedy, a vital and life-saving service, such as the, fire, the retained firefighter service, continues to be treated in the state almost like a voluntary service. It's or relegated, I should say, in terms of its importance and its stature, almost to the point of that it's seen as equal to the lifeboat service or the Coast Guard. All of them save lives, but a lot of our essential services are run on what is practically a voluntary basis. And when I talk to the men and women there today about the current conditions and pay and sort of life that they have, it is almost uh, voluntary and it is disgraceful that that is still going on. But we cannot legally, morally or physically run any aspect of society without a fire service. So why this has happened and been allowed to degenerate so far is beyond me. And I can't personalise it to you, Minister. You're only Minister for two and a half years. But you are of a party that has been in power for a long, long time. And your colleagues in power, in, in power now, Fine Gael, were in power when you weren't in power, when your party wasn't in power. So the book has to stop somewhere. And perhaps it's the department, or perhaps it's you and previous ministers, but the book has to stop somewhere. And I take your bona fide that you're enthusiastic about the service, that you're committed to it, and that you're waiting for this review to come out. But unfortunately, what they're hearing, what I'm hearing, is that the review is done, there's been engagement with the reps. That isn't clear from the motion, by the way. Um, and we're waiting for the publication of it. Um, so I think that it is a bit like what I hear in relation to many, many issues in this House. I heard the same thing from the Taoiseach this morning about the Retired Workers' Bill, which has been sitting for 17 months now and no movement on it whatsoever while people who are retired get older and older and more and more frustrated. Interestingly, the march today was dubbed the March of Frustration, and that's absolutely understandable from the point of view of the workers that are here in the gallery today. I googled uh, retained firefighters today just to find out what's been happening in the field recently, and what comes up is almost every county in the state is desperately trying to recruit members because there's a chronic shortfall in staffing, whether it's Wexford, Kerry, Waterford, Sligo, Mayo, Donegal, you name it. They're all chronically short-staffed. And this isn't anything new. In fact, two years before they died, both Mark O'Shaughnessy and Brian Murray Sr. took part in a local protest in Bray to highlight safety concerns around that very uh, issue of understaffing of the station. Instead of having 15 firefighters at the time, they had 10. And whenever we ask questions in this House about what is happening with this, uh, with this service, we're told it's an issue for the relevant local authority. Now, I was a councillor for seven years and I know there are issues with local authorities and the fire service, but technically the book stops here, particularly because we cannot run a society legally or safely or any other way without a fire service. So it's a two-way street, but I believe that the state does not value some of its most important uh, frontline workers and passing the book to local authorities is not good enough and it has to stop. And the question was asked earlier on about timelines for the review, timelines for the implementation. I know you'll come back in it. My overall point is so that this motion and these people did not travel here today and take it this seriously because you were sitting on review. It's because of the systemic neglect of these people and the service over many, many decades. And somebody has to take accountability for it. Uh, I note, for example, that the question of being available within five kilometres of your station and the knock-on effect that that has. Well, one of the key things that came up today in my discussion with firefighters here today was the question of housing. 
the affordability, the lack of uh, availability of mortgage because of the, the pay that they're on. But no matter what town or city that you're in, living in, in these days in Ireland, the rent is too high. If you can get a place to rent, it is too high. So all of these problems stem from your role and your job as Minister in the same department we have a housing crisis that has a knock-on effect into the real lives of ordinary workers. The same could be said of nurses, teachers, so many uh, people who leave this country or indeed leave our cities because they cannot afford to live in them because of the, the cost of accommodation. Um, an astonishing 97% of these workers voted in favour of strike action. And I think that has to be taken into account when you're looking at how, uh, if you like, how seriously they take what has happened to them and the frustration with which they have tried to move things forward but have met nothing but obstacles and delay after delay after delay. <clears throat> and that's why they had to form their own association, the National Retained Firefighters Association. So you have the capacity to solve it. And I think you, you've done the wrong thing tonight by proposing an alternative motion. You could have put amendments into this one. But I think it's the wrong thing to do because it divides the House on the basis of us versus them. But yet the evidence is there that that side of the House, those who rule uh, in this country, have let down the service, the men and women of the <coughs> retained firefighters service over the years. Um, if they do end up on the picket lines, we'll be with them a thousand percent. I know most people don't want to ever have to go on strike, but if they do go on strike, that puts uh, you and the local authorities in the position of really breaking the law because you haven't provided uh, fire protection and, and, and a service for your citizens. We will be with them, but we need to stop passing the book and take responsibility, and we need answers from you, Minister.